earliest days of the stock market, you don't really want exposure to one stock or one company. You want to typically think about diversifying risk and what have you. And so like worst nightmare type stuff, be handcuffed and thrown into a van, put a list in front of your face like you're going away for the rest of your life. It doesn't have any of these risks associated with the government who has proven that they have no problem in, in cutting people off or cutting countries off from the system. First of all, he's saying it's going to be a currency that will be digital, that will be traded outside the SWIFT system. We built Fedem as a decentralized liquidity protocol on XDC. So what you can do, you can come with your assets. These can be native crypto assets. Um, no, even, the worst, <laughs> even the one with the lo lowest assets, BTCW, um, it's still a tremendously successful product. Yeah. Enjoy the ride, pal. It's the XME. If you got some baggies, welcome to the party. Welcome back to some more Moon O'Clock News. No breakfast, no coffee. Shout out to Lady Sub. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in, smashing them likeies, stuffing some baggies. Go ahead. Throwing in moon suits, throwing in pilot shades. Buckle up, because the future's extra, extra bullish. Let's go full speed, full throttle. Into the cryptoverse with the total global cryptocurrency market cap today at 2.73 trillion, down about 3.2% in the past 24. We got XRP in that number seven spot, right around 63 cents, down about 6% in the past 24. Stellar XLM, 13 cents. BTC, 68K. We got ETH right around 37 hundo. We got Flair Networks right around 0 0.036. XDC, 0 0.047. Songbird, 0 0.011. Stronghold, 007. Evernode right around 58 cents. And we got Zahao right around 12, 13 cents. We got one from Riz XRP, Brad Garland House Welcomes, and XRP ETF, and many others. I'm sure you've seen there's buzz out there about potentially an XRP ETF being in the future. What do you make of that speculation? Well, Kelly, good to see you. I, I think it only makes sense there will be other ETFs. Uh, to, it's a little bit like, you know, the earliest days of the stock market, you don't really want exposure to one stock or one company. You want to typically think about diversifying risk and what have you. And so I think we will see other ETFs when we will see them is hard to predict. You know, the, the, the sad reality of what we saw with the Bitcoin ETF is it was only because the courts forced the SEC hand, SEC's hand and really Chair Gensler's hand that we saw that finally come to fruition. And look, in my opinion, it makes these markets safer. It makes them more robust. And so this is good for the investment community uh, to kind of lean into that. We got Rob Cunningham. How important is a resolution to this ETH gate thing for all of us? To me, blockchain is as powerful as electricity was. In your family, it is unconscionable that anything like this would ever happen to an American. I mean, be thrown, I mean, this is like worst nightmare type stuff. Be handcuffed and thrown into a van, put a list in front of your face, like you're going away for the rest of your life is unconscionable. Everyone should be held responsible, like to the maximum. So thank you for that. I have a ton of gratitude. Um, and, and that comes from my firm, my family, my friends. We've all been living this, but nothing like that. Um, and then I want to I want to look to the future. My my question for you: Blockchain is such an important development uh, for society and humanity, as as you said at the at the opening of your remarks. So, my question is: How important do you think it is that there's a resolution of this ETHgate thing? Uh, in order for blockchain to basically, you know, go on and, and have its promise to serve humanity. It's absolutely essential. I mean, to me, blockchain is as powerful as electricity was. You know, it's not like the blockchain or crypto does something in and of itself. It powers. Know what you hold. We got James Rule XRP and Power US fights for transparency at the SEC continues. The more we learn, the worse the conflicts of interest. Look. And we got Wrath of K, the European Corporate Governance Institute notes XRP was not found as a security by the court in the recent paper, Corporate Governance Meets Data and Technology. On July 13th, the court found that XRP was not a security. We got Subject Views, Ripple Imperial College Business School Center for Financial Technology, London Tokenization Policy Summit, March 13th, 2024. London ready. We got the digital asset investor. Watch this before it gets censored. Western comics, price suppression. It's a 
a, a, a strong probability that a lot of, of what's happening to, to the bond market, to the debt market, is a, a function of lack of trust. And I think the most important thing to keep in mind is that you need somebody to buy the bonds in order to, to continue to finance the debt. And this is all what talk, centered around interest rates, right? I mean, um, and the question really is, who can we count on right now to, to buy our debt? And the countries that predominantly have been buying our debt, I believe, have shifted into buying tangible assets, not just gold and silver, but copper, um, zinc, lead, you name it. Anything that you would need to build an infrastructure, I believe that's what they are doing. And when you look at the performance of gold over the last 25 years, it has outpaced that of the bond market tremendously. It's outpaced the S&P. We've talked about this before, but what it does, look, America's ability to pay its debt, I think, is becoming a concern for the nations around the globe. And, you know, right now, uh, those foreign nations own almost $8 trillion worth of our treasuries. And I think they're getting nervous and, and maybe they don't trust us anymore. So when you say that this movement is different, well, it's different to me in two ways. The biggest is that, at least in terms of gold, it's blown through all resistance. There's nothing above it. It's never been this high. Where does it stop? And should it actually have been much higher to begin with? I don't know. And I do think it will drag silver around, uh, with it. It will pull it with it. Um, typically, as people have talked about forever, gold goes first, silver goes further in terms of a percentage gain. But in my heart of hearts, I believe what we are seeing is a lack of trust that is manifesting itself in higher commodity prices, in particular gold right now, because I think these central banks around the world view gold as a safer bet, one that doesn't have sanction and confiscation risk, doesn't have default risk, it doesn't have any of these risks associated with the government who has proven that they have no problem in, in cutting people off or cutting countries off from the system if they don't align ideologically with the way that we do. So I think that's why it feels different this time. This is central bank buying to me and big central bank buying that, you know, you can only manipulate a market by pushing in the direction that it is going and to try to hold this back. I think it's as dumb as a mud wall and you'll end up seeing companies that will try and and could very well likely end up in, in the dust heap, you know. Uh, uh, his we got Yoshitaka Katao, Cashless Payment Systems, how blockchain can power the future. Payments, XRP. We got 707 Crypto Bricks, digital currencies based off of basket of currencies, basket of commodities. Price of commodities will be temporarily priced in Western speculation. First of all, he's saying it's going to be a currency that will be digital that will be traded outside the SWIFT system, and it will be a basket of, of commodities on one end and a basket of local currencies on the other end. So there's a, that's what it is, right? But here's the important part that I want people to understand, okay? And it, it's, it's the most important part of everything. And it, he says this, the second part of the equation is price. For the moment, for the moment, for the moment, Price is determined by Western speculation. We produce these commodities, we consume them, but we do not have our own price mechanism, which will balance supply and demand. We got one from Nerdy, Sean S90X, X XDC. Well, it's been a really interesting event. I mean, I've learned a terrific amount. It's a really exciting uh, sort of energy in the room, lots of solutions, lots of great thinking as well. XDC Network is the, the only member of ITFA providing a layer one network. But when it comes down to priorities, I think it really boils down to quite simple things. We need more transactions between lenders, financial institutions, companies, uh, more use cases and case studies that we can show others uh, and get them mobilized and motivated around this massively exciting opportunity to digitalize probes. And of course, when these documents are created, which can be verified by anyone, then the funding becomes much, much easier. We built Fathom as a decentralized liquidity protocol on XDC. So what you can do, you can come with your assets. These can be native crypto assets, or these can be tokenized real-world assets or real-world assets 
it issued directly on chain, deposit them in our into our protocol and borrow against that. It also comes with a stable coin, so you can borrow a stable coin as well. This is a uh, over collateralized US dollars backed stable coin. And our ambition for the stablecoin is really for the stablecoin to be the, the base currency of the XDC trade network. So all uh, liquidity pools and trading pairs can and should be and will be denominated against FXD, which is our US dollar stablecoin. We got Stellar or we're headed to Blockworks, DAS. If you're in town, join us to learn about the features that make Stellar the ideal platform for real world assets, tokenization. Stellar Blockworks Digital Asset Summit, March 18th through the 20th. XLM. We got XRP drops. They're smashing records all over the place. This whole group is just smashing every record we've seen. Even the one with the lowest assets is still a tremendously successful product. You know, the score, uh, you know, one to 10 in terms of the success rate of the Bitcoin ETFs and th how things have gone so far. Is this just overwhelmingly successful or what's your consideration? Yeah, 10, 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10. Well, um, no, even the worst, okay. even the one with the lo lowest assets, BTCW, um, it's still a tremendously successful product yeah. by pretty much That's any crazy. measure that you could think of for something that just launched a couple min minutes ago. And then, I mean, a couple months ago, and you go up to something like IBIT and FBTC, I mean, they're smashing yeah. records all over the place. Like this whole group is just smashing every record we've ever seen. We got Stantum and Fee. Bitcoin has dropped below 68K for the first time since March 8th and all coins have bled significantly as a result. Other than in a few anomaly risers like Sol and WIF, most notable assets are now being discussed in terms of their prospect for buying the dip or panic selling. Historically, a fair amount of FUD will be the best crowd reaction to justify the quick market bounce. Another one from Santa Murphy. The crowd has stayed optimistic after crypto retrace Thursday. All coins in particular are now recovering quickly. If there's a fair degree of FUD and selling calls that continues into the weekend, it'll be a likely return back to 70k for BTC. Got coins, kid. I'll let you know when the all season is here. I'll be back up with the day tonight, Hopium. I see far too many calling for all season prematurely. This is Bitcoin season, baby. Lagging offs are just playing catch up to the impulsive. Move up. All season will come. Check out yesterday's BTC video for more in-depth information. We got Dr. Martin. Bitcoin is not a hedge against inflation for one reason. Its price is dominated by the actions of big institutional investors who consider it just another asset class and risky ask it one at that. That means with the rate cut postponed, it risk off again. The institutional adoption and control over Bitcoin has completely destroyed its original crypto punk ideals. It has failed to be a carrier of decentralization and self-sovereignty. Revolution. Enter. XRP. We got egg rack crypto XRP bulls. As anticipated, XRP has revisited the bouncy bounce range as illustrated in the updated chart below. The next tax for the bulls is crucial. It must either initiate a bounce from the current levels or prepare for a potential revisit of the FIB.0382 level 60 cents, which could manifest as a wick. XRP army, stay ready. Ignore these minor fluctuations. Keep your focus on the bigger picture and load up. While you still have some time, the longer they take, the higher we climb. On that XRP rich list, we got L Crypto altcoins are correcting the bid and people are acting like it's the end of the world. After six green weeks, this is completely normal. I told you that such dips will happen in a bull market. See it as an opportunity to load up. Another one from L Crypto. Told you a few days ago that we have reached the first target for altcoins. Don't want to sound arrogant, but it was spot on. Predicted the whole move in October of 2023. And then there are actually people out there who think charts won't work. We got BPM wallets. Grab your tickets before it's too late. XRP Gold Coast 2024. Less than a week away, our good friends at Wave Innovation have organized a phenomenal conference with an amazing lineup. Speakers, we'll see you there. Countdown is on. XRP Gold Coast 2024.com slash shop. And let them know that the bag man sent you. With that being said, Batman and Bag Ladies, we got how much is your XRP worth XRP calculator based on the development by Susan Athley, Board of Directors of Ripple and Robert Mishnick, Stanford Graduate School of Business. And with just a small piece of the pie, takes us to the promised land, total estimated daily transaction volume. If we just get 100 billion in daily transaction volume onto the XRP ledger, we're looking at a value of XRP around $398.29. Share this with a friend and let them know that the greatest opportunity of multiple lifetimes is still at hand, but the train's left the station. Tick tock, tick tock, where will those bags be when that regulation jar molasses finally breaks open and XRP's true price is finally revealed. Later, glitches. 
We got it when it was low, now we live a high class This is some damn rig and they get printing the cash So you can have these back and I'ma take these bags If you're on the same vibration, you probably see the plan They're lying on the stage when they take the stand But you didn't wanna listen, we gotta take a chance It's a once in a life opportunity that we have And we never gonna stop till we hit at least a grand They call me the back man, I stay getting bags man Jump in that rocket, let's beat at the back As we rose to the top, we took back our spot The evil evading, they know what we got We got the power, we wake in the bots They wanted our keys, got the whole